Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also, join membership if you'd like to. It is the link in the description box for Patreon. Uh, we just posted the extended for not the last reading, but the reading before, the one about New Year's Eve. Um, so yeah, if you haven't joined, uh, you can join for that or any of the other content that's posted there. I will likely do some more content tonight, I'm hoping. I also want to get on the bi-weekly all signs again, so uh, yeah, definitely join if you're interested in any of those tiers there. Uh, I really appreciate everyone who's recently joined. Thank you. There's been quite a few recent members, so thanks so much. And also, thank you so much to everyone who's donated lately. You guys are, again, amazing. And yeah, so as always, comment, like, and subscribe if I didn't already say that. I always forget, guys. And um, I also wanted to say, as you notice, I'm using these cards again. I'm kind of obsessed with them right now. I'm not going to lie. Um, also, uh, the person that owns the shop, I messaged her today just to say I really like the cards. Um, and she gave me a 30% off discount for you guys. So if you want to buy them, you can. Again, I paid full price for these guys. Like, I actually genuinely just really like them. So um, yeah, just, just letting you guys know. But yeah, if you want the discount, I will put it in the description box. Um, I think it's only good for like 10 days, so make sure you use it uh, before it's out if you do want this deck. Uh, again, it's really, really pretty. One of my new favorites, so yes. Anyways, okay, so getting into this reading, guys, um, I really think this is another very beautiful reading. Again, you might notice, too, I'm kind of moving away from some of the karmic stuff. I just try not to focus on that as much in my readings just because it brings more negativity into my life. I don't really like it. The more I focus on it, the more it comes out in the reading. So I'm like, we're just going to pull back a little bit on that for a bit and kind of focus more on the positive. So let me know what you think of that. But anyways, okay, getting into this reading. So what I'm seeing here is this is referring to a past situation and also the future coming for like moving forward from the situation. And I'm basically seeing that this has to do with you and a decision you made for yourself in the past and in regards to another person. So basically I see in the past, you made a really tough decision, some of you here, to move on from someone that you had a lot of feelings for. This was really hard for you. This is not something you really wanted to do, but you did it and you did it for yourself. And what I'm hearing in this reading is that this was the best decision you could have made for yourself and for this person at that time. It's like you were listening to your guidance, to your intuition. Something you did was right. So moving on from this person was the best thing you could have done because Basically, what I'm seeing is it caused both of you to go through some sort of deep, insightful sort of transformation. I see you both reflecting. I see something about reflecting your insecurities back to you. Both of you, I see you reflecting your insecurities back to each other. So not only did this person go through a bunch of growth away from you and completely change their ways. I also see you went through a lot of growth as well, as specifically if you were someone who always put a lot of emphasis on others, who always kind of let others walk all over them a little bit sometimes, or always stayed too long in certain relationships or did things to be super nice. Like I just see you kind of finally stepping into your own a little bit more, owning yourself a bit more. And also finally, I'm hearing putting the energy back in yourself, which is something that I'm hearing spirit wanted you to do all along was put the energy back in yourself. And you finally did that is what I'm hearing. And you're finally taking control of your own life. And I see because you did that, like the same thing happened to this other person. We talked about this in another reading, but it's really interesting in this one, guys, I'm getting such cool messages coming out. So basically this person had this huge reflection on who they were, who they want to be. I keep seeing that standing in front of a mirror, someone just looking at themselves in a mirror. By the way, I keep seeing someone like popping pimples in front of the mirror. I don't know guys I, who that is. I mean, it could be me, who knows, but I keep seeing a vision of that right now. Anyways, so I'm seeing someone got really insightful about the ways that they've been acting and it was quite literally like you sean i'm hearing a spotlight or you highlighted their flaws and they've never had someone do this before to them they've never really looked that deep into themselves until you came along and it's like you open them up they blossomed something came out of them they've never felt before like you totally changed this person around is what i'm hearing and also i see this person just like clinging on to you being like whoa, like what did I just experience? What was that? I've never felt that before. 
<laughs> like, I don't know. That's the vibe that I'm getting with this reading, guys. And I want to get into some of the messages here because they're so, again, interesting. So I was hearing something about, yeah, I just want to point this out real quick. There's definitely a message coming through about something with a safety deposit box, um, checking for mail in something or a mailbox. I was seeing a vision of a mailbox today. And I also randomly had a UPS truck go by my truck, go by my house, sorry, um, last night and it stopped in front of my house, but it went to my neighbors, which is, if you know me, it's super weird because I used to ship tons of things through UPS. I used to like do shipping for my other company. So they only came to my house. Like there's never been a time I've seen a truck and it hasn't come to my house. So I thought that was really weird. I saw one kind of just out of the blue. So I definitely feel like that could be a message for someone here. And then I'm getting a bunch of stuff about mail too, but we're going to talk about that. So there could be something someone is waiting on or someone is about to send is what I'm hearing. But we'll again, get into that more. So I'm also hearing something about back to December all of the time. I'm going to tell you more about that in one second too, but I definitely feel there's something going on this Christmas or holiday season for you guys, as we've been talking about, but I'm seeing more of it. Luca's here. Yeah, hi. Interrupting as usual. We love that, eh, buddy? Yes. Okay. Anyways, moving on. So I'm hearing something about... Um, a curse that is gone. I'm hearing, I quite literally, I heard curse be gone. I'm not quite sure what that is implying. I'm also hearing craving. Someone is craving someone else. I'm hearing something about Switzerland again too. I don't know what that is. Guys, please let me know if that relates to your situation at all. It just keeps coming out. I would love to know. Um, I'm also hearing run with the wind or something picking up speed, picking up wind, uh, something about a boat and its sails. I was talking about this earlier today, I think as well in a member's read. I also heard forget what you've been told making a living on your own. I heard open your eyes and see, or that's those song lyrics where it's like, look up to the sky and see. I'm just a poor boy, I have no sympathy. Something like that, easy come, easy go. That was Bohemian Rhapsody, it took me a minute to remember that. I don't know why I always forget, I know them so well. So I also heard a whole new world as well. I just keep seeing that you opened someone's eyes like so much to everything not even just like their own flaws and insecurities but also just a different way of life and I feel like this person did the same for you almost like for some of you this person could have been the start of your spiritual journey getting like deeper into things or you caused this person to start some sort of spiritual journey like they were never into it before and then they got into something I'm hearing someone recently started doing something with yoga yoga class I'm hearing hot yoga right now something about sweating but it's like you both <laughs> were meant to meet each other. See, it's like you were both re reflecting each other's negative qualities. And that's all, that's what Twin Flames is about, right guys? And then you have this inner wisdom that you experience from this relationship. You learn something that you've never knew before. It's like someone finally opens you up, like all the new things inside of you. I don't know what I'm trying to say with this message. You guys get what I mean. It's something about insight. I'm hearing freedom is mine, freedom is yours, cold hands and feet. I keep hearing someone has cold hands and feet. Make the most of what you've got. I like you a lot, but where is this going? I'm also seeing someone ask that question again and again. Someone wanted to know where this connection was going. The other person wasn't sure about that. They didn't want to continue it the same way. This was where it started happening, where you guys started reflecting each other's insecurities and flaws. One person always feels like, you know, people run from them. They always end up in these situations where they like the person more. Everyone always leaves me. You know, that kind of insecurity. I see someone becoming more aware that this always happens to them and starting to wonder maybe why this always happens and then the other person who pulled away and ran away from this connection when it got you know too intense for them and them starting to look at themselves being like why did i do that why do i always do that and it's because again like you both said something to each other or i, I really strongly get divine feminine did more for the divine masculine here but you both did stuff for each other i see she said something that causes person to rethink why they keep doing that and then I'm also hearing something about a new lease on life. I'm hearing hurry up and get there fashionably late. Um, I see someone couldn't make up their mind about this connection and someone could have moved forward because of that. This also could be referring to a future as well though. I keep getting something about travel, someone stuck in traffic, late for a date or something. So just keep that in mind too. I feel like someone's yelling though. If they're late, like they're not happy about being late. Like they didn't mean to be late. They were really stuck in traffic. Um, I'm also hearing transcendence as well, and I'm hearing only once in a lifetime something like this comes along. I'm hearing something about a group gathering, P 
people talking about this type of connection. I'm hearing people talk about how this masculine feels about you and something about uh, st statistically speaking, like it's not likely that people often come back together and things work out, but I'm seeing could be different for you guys. I'm hearing something about the ex an exception. You guys are the exception or someone here is the exception for another person. I'm hearing let yourself breathe. You're not who you say you are. Um, I just keep getting something about looking at yourself in a different way, admiring who you are as a person. Like if you're divine feminine here, I see you finally realizing your worth. I'm also hearing that you realize that you don't need another person to rely on. You only needed yourself the whole time. All this time that you thought you needed someone else, it was just you. It was you that you needed and you that you had to invest time and effort into. That was the most important part of bringing this person back into your life was investing time into yourself. And then, by the way, if you haven't done this, this is also supposed to be an advice reading. So um, this is advice from spirit. If you have not invested in yourself, put more time into yourself and, you know, started to say more positive affirmations about relationships. Like, you know, I always find the right person. Everything always works out for me. Like this would be the time to start doing that for yourself. Okay. And then I'm also hearing wrapped around my finger. I keep hearing that. I see a divine feminine now who's like, she knows like i just keep hearing that song she knows she knows she knows like you know what it is you want you know that you're gonna get it it's like you're more confident now in who you are and i keep hearing that rihanna song where it's like i was good on my own but da -da -da -da. i keep hearing needed me that rihanna song as if like something about you tried to mess around with a bad b I see you just look at yourself like, yeah, man, like I got it going on. I know I'm amazing. I know I'm great. Like not letting this person affect your confidence anymore. And I feel like in past relationships you did, you always let the other person make you feel bad or like you were not worthy. But I feel this is something that's changing within you and it's because of this other person causing you to step into your own power more. This was an important part of you guys separating. I'm also hearing, I heard you say that once before alone at last specific place i want to go but i couldn't figure it out before i'm hearing illuminating the beginning and the ending tied together groundbreaking earth shattering results stepping stones leaderboard and i'm hearing north pole or north star someone was someone else's north star i keep hearing that you basically showed this person the way forward you know from this connection the way out of something you illuminated what it is they needed to change to be able to come back together with you properly. And also something about the North Pole is coming through. And I have been seeing that there's stuff about winter very strongly coming through Christmas time. Makes me think of walking through somewhere where it's like set up with a lot of holiday lights or something. I, I keep seeing like tree lighting at night or something like that. I've also been seeing a vision of a street lamp at Christmas time and it's like you can see it's at night you know when you can see the snow kind of like passing under a street lamp I don't know I like I keep seeing that at night that vision or something about some kind of street lamp and okay in terms of the past two I'm also hearing don't get wrapped up in something in petty arguments waste of your time and energy you are so much more than that I keep hearing that about you, like you knew not to get wrapped up in certain arguments. This is again why someone likes you because you're not the type of person to start petty fights or things like that. You're someone who really holds your ground, holds your cool, stays calm under pressure I'm hearing as well. I'm also getting a lot of messages from the movie Lion King, super weird. I almost feel like that whole movie, like it's like you should watch that movie I'm hearing because I've been getting so many references from it. but. I'm getting something about Rafiki when he tells Simba to look harder. You know, when he's looking at the water and he's like, I, it's just my reflection. He's like, look hard or what do you see? And then he sees like, you know, Mufasa. And then he sees all the stuff in the sky and the stars. He sees something so much bigger. That's what I get you did for this masculine, guys. You told him to look harder into something that he's never looked at before. And he was able to see something new something beyond just the physical and i get once again it's about truly seeing inside the reflection of who you are i also get for some of you this is you know realizing that you have more control over your life than you knew i'm also getting from that movie the part where he says remember like remember who you are remember who you are and that's what awakening you know spiritually is all about remembering who you are that you're not just a person existing here you're also 
something much greater. You're part of a whole bigger consciousness. Again, if you don't know everything about that, I would definitely look into that. It's super interesting, but that is what I get. Someone really had to take a long, hard look at themselves and see way more than they've ever seen before and pull something up from really far deep down that maybe they haven't even felt before, something like that. So, and then also in that movie too, I'm getting part of the scene where I'm hearing he's coming back and you know, like when Simba is running back and running back to the Pride Lands. And I was also hearing the part with, what's his name? Uh, Scar. Yeah. When Scar says, you, you must go, like never, never return, go and leave and never return. Right. He says that to Simba. So I'm seeing something about that, but then obviously we know Simba does come back, but he planned to never return. And that is what I get in this reading as well. Someone planned to never return. And also I see when you guys reunite, it's like in the movie when, when she shows up with him, she's mad at him and she's angry. And by the way, guys, I have been getting some about a lioness. Like I keep getting, this is how someone looks at you or the vibe you give off to other people. Like you're a little bit intimidating to this person. <laughs> and I see you, you know, I keep hearing jumping to conclusions about someone or something thing I feel like there's something that someone needs to tell you or explain to you because they want you to know they didn't leave for the reasons that you think they left someone wants you to know like he didn't leave for the reasons you thought the reasons that everyone gossiped about I'm hearing something about the gossip isn't true or what someone said isn't true this could be related to you or another situation but I'm just getting that someone left for a reason that they felt they had to like they felt at the time it was important it could have been once again something to do with their family or situation that needed to be dealt with outside of you or inside of themselves as well they left because of that so it wasn't for the wrong reason spirit is saying you guys separating was not wrong it was part of the plan everything happened for a reason exactly how it was supposed to happen and again i'm seeing someone is returning and i'm hearing that song can you feel the love tonight like someone is coming back that is what I just keep hearing. And I keep seeing Rafiki like drawing in the tree being like saying he's alive as well. Something about he's alive, he's alive. Like you you didn't even know. And I also get with that message too about Rafiki doing the stuff with the tree. He does kind of like rituals and things like that to be able to see things that are going on. And I feel like that's like someone here, someone who does uh, spiritual things. I was seeing something about tarot cards again today in a vision. Obviously, I, I see a lot of tarot cards, but I was seeing a vision of something to do with that, like someone who does spiritual things here or has ways of, you know, again, like predicting something or seeing something because she is holding the moon, which talks about the things that are hidden and underneath the unseen, but she has a knowledge of this. So that is what I'm getting here. Also with this card, I just want to point out too that once again, if you do something spiritual, like I feel like someone knows, someone knew someone is returning or coming back because she has like the world in her hands as well. This looks like a globe. She knows where someone is because I keep hearing someone say like, how did you know it was me? Or how did you know I was coming back? And it's because you just had this inner deep knowledge, this knowing or this way that you were able to tell where this person was or you had this feeling. I'm also getting something about the whole world being behind you as in once again, you are not just a physical body. You have like the entire universal consciousness behind you when you make a wish or when you manifest something. So you just have to remember that you are much greater than what you see is the message here as well all right so moving forward from that i'm hearing i had a productive weekend setbacks no return on investment someone could be involved in banking i keep hearing something about roi i just wanted to point that out here i was also hearing you need to hop on that train and get to where you need to go set your mind to it something again coming out about a train i heard you're not someone who gives up easily be relentless in your pursuits I'm also hearing Father Tell Me. I think that's part of a song or something too. Okay, I keep hearing this song, A Girl Worth Fighting For from Mulan. So I'd maybe go listen to that. Again, Disney reference. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> but what I'm seeing with that is someone feels like you are worth fighting for. You're the first person. You're the exception. You're the person that this person wants to return to. They've never wanted to do this with anyone else. And I see their friends thinking they're crazy. They're like, this doesn't work out when you go back to your ex. It never works out. And I'm seeing someone's like, no, but this is the exception. And they just know it. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. I'm also hearing you're never alone. It may seem like you are, but you are not. I heard, don't get it twisted. Uh, and that's when I heard the, the lyrics from the song Needed Me by Rihanna. So it says, trying to fix your inner issues with a bad B. Didn't they tell you I was a savage? F your white horse and carriage. No, you hate to confess, but you needed me. So 
also something coming out about a white horse and carriage again the whole cinderella thing that i keep picking up on i actually keep seeing a white horse and carriage almost like this is something someone wants to do for another person maybe someone here goes to disney world i don't know guys i'm here in orlando florida a lot i got something about a castle again today i don't know what is with the disney references but that is what i'm getting or someone sees you like a disney princess i'm hearing something about how all the animals like you or something like that maybe you collect animals i mean i think i'm on that page now with all the cats <laughs> anyway it's okay yeah so those lyrics needed me and then it also said or right after that i was hearing cinderella doesn't need no man so i just see you like standing in your power again like no like i'm not gonna feel bad about this like i didn't do the wrong thing here I stood in my power, I was nice to this person, I did everything right, you know what, I'm gonna stop being so hard on myself for connections not working out because it is not me, you know, or you realize it's just your beliefs, the fact that you believe that you're not worthy of something. When you start believing that you're worthy, that's when amazing things start happening for you because it's what you affirm. Again, I always tell you guys that your thoughts create reality. Like what you believe, what you focus on, that is what's gonna come true in your reality. And I feel like someone has really strongly realized that or just really started to stand in their power now. And I'm also getting, uh, says so you're the one everyone wants, be that girl, that's what I heard, be that guy, be that girl, be the one everyone wants, because that's who you are, and that's how this person looks at you, by the way, they do look at you like a bad, <laughs> like, they, they know, so if you're acting that way, or you're putting on that, like, I'm hearing persona, but it's more like, it's just who you are, or how you come across to this person, like, they see it in you. They know you're confident in yourself now or they've seen your transformation and they find it really attractive as well. Also hearing open lines of communication are not ready yet. This could be something relating to the past. I feel like you guys try to communicate about something and someone went cold on one part of the line and I feel like those lines of communication are starting to reopen though. They're slowly starting to open up again. I'm going to explain to you how I see that starting guys. I'm also hearing grab my stuff. I'm going to get out of here real quick. I'm going to blow this popsicle stand. That may be a sexual reference, I have to be honest, uh, with some of the stuff, yeah, in this reading. So I see someone leaving something really quick though or getting out of a situ situation really quick. You guys had like a sudden ending or this relationship didn't get fully off the ground. Something just ended before it even started really. I keep hearing someone jump ship too early. I'm also hearing, I made it look like I needed you, but really all I needed was myself. Retweet what you've been thinking about. Something about tweeting, I keep hearing that lately. Ripped down the middle, tearing up a contract or a piece of paper. I keep seeing this, someone ripping a piece of paper or a contract in half. Something, I'm hearing business deal right now. Something about a pie graph, charts, uh, or pictures, like photographs. Uh, maybe you ripped up pictures or someone did here. I'm also hearing something about a boardroom. And then I'm hearing that song, Reckless Behavior, the lyrics, sorry, from that song, Zane, Pillow Talk. And I have been hearing stuff about a pillow too, very randomly. But uh, yeah, so definitely a few sexual references, but also someone who is just being reckless, again, in the past, not really thinking about their actions. Whereas now I see someone very methodical, really thinking about everything that they do. Because again, you shed some sort of light on them and highlighted the things they've been doing wrong and other relationships as well. Okay, I'm also hearing wrong to do this in relation to re reckless behavior. I'm also hearing extreme behavior will get you nowhere. Don't F with me. I see like if this person deal with dealt with another person that was very extreme or out there, like they didn't show this person reaction or you just knew like reacting really badly in this situation was not worth it. I just see you, again, always keeping your cool or just not overreacting to certain things. You just knew it's better to just pull back your energy you know, go silent on someone or something, not argue about things. I could just see you being a more calm person or this is something that you've worked on. I'm also hearing played by the rules and got burned. Someone, oh, I'm also seeing a vision of someone spoon feeding a baby. That was like super random, it just came out. I'm also seeing a vision too of claws, um, a nail scratching. I'm getting this as kind of sexual. I was seeing someone like grabbing bed sheets and then I was seeing two people like their hands grabbing together. I get it as sexual again. Again, I'm seeing the thing against the wall. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> move forward. Okay. I'm also hearing, when did you get these messages? I heard someone say a long time ago. Then why are they on your phone now searching for evidence that this could be you? 
this could be more recently a third party found that they had messages from you they could have screenshotted like old messages of yours or old photos of yours and like had them in their photo album and someone's like why are they on your phone now if they're old messages like why do you have pictures of them or something like that that's what i'm getting or this was you in the past you found something of another person on their phone and you asked this person you confronted them and then yeah they did give you like a straight answer or something like that or you found them online or whatever I'm also hearing, I never said that I didn't want to be with you. I just needed time and space to bring us back together. Once again, there's a message about you guys needing to separate to come back together. This is like meant to be. I just keep hearing this was supposed to happen. The way it happened was supposed to be. So nothing happened in the wrong way. Everything happens exactly how it's supposed to happen. I'm also hearing, do you know something I don't know? I'm hearing I value our time together. I can't complete the cycle without you. And I'm hearing something about room number nine or seven, taking the stairs. This again could be referring to a hotel. Um, I'm hearing bedroom. Okay, I'm hearing lobby right now, hotel lobby. I'm hearing Douglas Ford, Doug Ford. I don't know what that's about anyways, or the name Douglas, that's come through before. I'm also hearing someone here could have been older than you, um, or there could be a third party who is younger is what I've been hearing. Pick up the pieces that you left behind, a certificate, something about jumping to conclusions. And again, I'm hearing what, what is this on your phone? But okay, the most important message here though, like the really exciting message about the future guys. Okay. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry to end it on like a cliffhanger here. But I just didn't have time to fully record all of this. Luca was just being super annoying tonight. So I'm just going to record the rest a little bit later. And I will post it in the morning tomorrow. So I hope that's okay with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Also join membership if you'd like to. It is the drum button below or the link in the description box if you want uh, the extended for this. I'll probably do an extended as well as the reading tomorrow. So there'll be something extra posted in members. So yeah, definitely join if you're interested. Again, we already posted extended for the second last reading I had uh, just a little while ago. So definitely join and we'll be picking up more of the bi-weekly signs this week too. So yeah, thanks again, guys. Thank you for everyone who becomes a member and thank you to everyone who's been donating to the channel as well. You guys are amazing and I will see you all in the next one. Okay, bye.